people have been thinking too long that art is a privilege of the museums and the rich. Art is not business. It does not belong to banks and fancy investors. Art is food. You can't eat it, but it feeds you. Art has to be cheap and available to everybody. It needs to be everywhere because it is the inside of the world. We're in um, El Bire, which is almost very close to Ramallah in occupied Palestine. And we're at a park where there's a summer camp going on. And today we're going to paint a backdrop mural for the Popular Theater Society. Right now we're looking at a lot of pictures from different productions of the theater company and we're, we're working on a, a quick design of collaging the ideas and themes of the plays with also the idea of water because we are in Palestine also to bring attention to water rights and the situation with Palestinians. We believe water is a human right and everyone has a right to it. طبع أطفال فلسطين هم بيعيشوا ظروف لها خصوصية كونهم يعيشون في ظل الاحتلال وكون حرية حركتهم بين المدن وداخل فلسطين إلى العالم محدودة ومحصورة بسبب الإجراءات اللي بفرضها الاحتلال على المواطنين الفلسطينيين أيضا قدرتهم على التواصل مع الشعوب الأخرى ومع أطفال العالم الآخرين أيضا محدودة لهذا السبب احنا بنعتقد انه حرية التعبير التي يوفرها مثل هذا المخيم مثل هاي التدريبات ستمكن الاطفال من التعبير عن همومهم عن الامهم عن افكارهم عن احلامهم عن رغباتهم بما يجعل علاقتهم بالعالم وعلاقتهم بانفسهم في حالة من التواصل والديناميكية من اجل تحقيق مزيد من القدرة على مواجهة المصاعب والاندماج بالحياة ومعرفة التحديات اللي بتواجههم بالمستقبل والاستعداد للدخول في معركة الحياة بأسلحة قد يكون الفن. This whole mural has stories from their different theater exhibitions woven together and the theme of water runs through all of the different stories so there's different plays that they've done where kids are dancing or where there's oppression or where kids are fighting back or where the community goes through some hardship and in all the different stories there's a lot of hope and resiliency and so we've taken from a lot of the stories that the kids have acted in taken the pictures of those kids that have been actors and then they've actually helped us to paint their images into the mural تركز بالإبداع الإبداع في كل مكان في العالم هو واحد لأنه بدافع عن الحرية وعن الكرامة الإنسانية It's a traditional story It's called the bird that gives happiness It says about a bird that carries happiness to people and uh, he carries this pocket of happiness and he went to everyone that is sad and he gave him happiness. The idea of this story that everyone should carry happiness to someone else. I definitely think that in a place here like under occupation where uh, there's not a lot of control of the media, there's not a lot of voice for the people, this is a very significant organization because they use oral history and they use art and they use creativity as a way for them to tell their own story and for young people to pass on um, the ideas of you know, the elders and, and for the kids to put their own ideas in and um, really become spokespeople for their community in a, in a time and a place when um, a lot of effort and energy is going into keeping the Palestinian people silenced. Uh, the Palestinians they are living uh, under occupation and the Palestinians are like all the people all over the world 
they love and they dream and they uh, work and they smile and they cry.